What's up, everybody? It is. It is. Um, I don't know what day it is. It's Thursday. <laughs> it is Thursday, and uh, let's answer a couple questions from uh, two two people. Twiddles. Twiddles, I think is the name, and Salwa. I think also is the other name. Um, and their question is, what, what is the difference? I think, that, well, the basic question is, what is the difference between the KJV Bible and the NIV Bible? Or basically, which Bible should we be reading? Um, now, I'm not, a, I'm not against the NIV. Uh, actually, yeah, I, mm, I don't know. I'm. I, I'm not wholeheartedly against the NIV or any other Bible, but, but I am. I don't know if that makes sense, but okay, so. True Bible students would know that the KJV is the only Bible that we should be reading and studying from. The KJV alongside the Strong's Concordance. Um, we're going to take a look at the, difference, the differences between the KJV and the NIV and ESV and American Standard and all those Geneva Bible or whatever. Because there's a lot of, there's, there's a lot, there is a lot of differences between the KJV and the rest. So we're going to take a little bit of a look of the history of the KJV and the other Bibles. Um, so right now I'm going to explain a couple things. There are two streams of the Bible. One stream that the KJV co comes from and the other stream where the rest of the Bible comes from. People say there's three streams. One stream where the KJV comes from, another stream where the rest of the Bible comes comes from, and then another stream I think where the Catholic, Catholic Bible comes from or whatever. But the Catholic Bible and the rest of the Bible are the same from the same stream. There's the KJV Bible and then there's the rest of the Bible alongside the Catholic Bible where they all come from the same source. And then there's the KJV Bible. So Catholic Bible, KJV Bible pretty much. That should tell you something. So we're going to look into that. We're going to look into that. Well, right now I'm going to go gonna go to work. It's super, super early. And I'm not driving for Uber and Lyft today. I'm going to be uh, demoing. I'm pretty much going to be destroying a house. Here's the deal. For some of you guys who've been ask, who have been asking about the King James version or the NIV version and things like that. Um, I did some research. I did my research. You got. You guys can do your research too. You guys will probably find the same thing. But but I I encourage you guys to do some research. So I did some research, right? And I found out a couple things. Back in the day, they only had the Hebrew and Greek um, manuscript or the Hebrew and Greek versions of the Bible, right? The 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 manuscripts or whatever. So what they did was they copied those Hebrew and Greek versions. They copied it took about, I don't know, like a year, maybe 10 months to, to copy um, those things. And when they found that they made a mistake uh, from those copies, when they found that they made a mistake when they were copying those uh, Hebrew and Greek texts, they would burn it. They would burn the, the, the books with the mistakes in it. So they had a very careful way of copying those books and copying the, the manuscripts. So it was, uh, I think it was a time of great persecution. I think it was uh, uh, the Dark Ages or something like that, or, or a time where Christians were being persecuted, so they had to copy the Bible underground, and they were spread out in different areas of the world, um, in India, Germany, and you know, in, in other different parts of the world. World, and they they started co they copied these books in different languages, right? Um, mainly, I think the main one was German with uh, uh, what's his name with uh, Luther, and then there's Tyndale and uh, some other guy. I forgot his name. I I'm bad with names, as, as you guys know. Um, so these people were copying the Bible and they were copying copies and copies and copies of the original 
Bible, but they were good copies. I think it was back in 15 to 1500s when they started, they wanted to make an English version. They got this the, the, uh, manuscripts, it's called the received text. Manuscripts were received from different parts of the world in different languages, but there was no contradiction. There was no, no, no mistakes in it. The only thing that were, that were different were names of people and names of the city because in different languages, you know, the names are different, you know, like Peter, Pedro, uh, John, Jan, or Jan in some, in some uh, countries. And so the KJV was copied from those texts. Now, meanwhile, there was a group of people, group of cults, and they were called the Alexandrians. In fact, you can see the Alexandrians in the Bible in Acts 6 and verse 9, I think when Peter was having an argument with the Alexandrians and the Alexandrians said, Hey, look, I, I know, I know, I know more than you or whatever. So you guys can read that in Acts 6. So these group of people, the Alexandrians, they also made their own version of the Bible. But the only thing is they left out a f quite a few verses. Sometimes they would even leave out like chapters of the Bible. They would twist ver verses of the Bible and they took out the deity of Jesus Christ. They took out the deity of Jesus Christ. So there were two streams, the received text and the Alexandrian. The received text was the real version. The Alexandrian came from the Alexandrian cults. There were two versions that were rewritten from the Alexandrian. That's why there's two, two other streams of the Alexandrian, which is the wrong manuscript. So from the Alexandrian, you get the American Standard, the NIV, the Latin Vulgate, um, the ESV, the New World Translation. So you got all these other versions, which were good translations of the wrong manuscript. And then you got the KJV, which was translated from the original manuscript. The Textus Receptus, I, I think what they called it, the received text, which was the good, the real, the original, true version of the Bible. So again, you got the KJV, which came from the real, stream of the Bible, and you got the rest, NIV, Standard Version, ESV, New American Translation, New World Version, or whatever it's called, from the wrong manuscript, which takes out the deity of Christ. If you look in the NIV, you will not find the deity of Christ. We'll talk more in a little bit. I got to finish all this. I got to finish all this work here. Still got work to be done. Can you tell us the importance of the KJV Bible alongside the Strong's Concordance in three minutes? In three minutes? The importance? Yeah. Well, it's cool because then you get more depth because then you can see the original Greek or the Hebrew words, which then gives you um, yeah, more depth into what the word really means. And so it's kind of like when you hear slang and hip hop and they say, yo, I'm going to my pad, it actually means house. But at the same time, there's a difference between pad and crib, right? You're going to use it in different scenarios. And so, right, you're not, you're not going to say, I lay in my crib, mm -hmm. but I say, I lay in my pad. Mm -hmm. And then so having the Greek or having the concordance with you helps you differentiate between, you know, you might see love, right, in mm -hmm. the Bible, but then there's several different, you know, Greek words for love. So that's why it's important to see, okay, you know, they can only do so much translating to English. Um, that's why you got to go back and look at those original Hebrew slang and Greek slang to get more depth and more meaning because it actually becomes pretty poetic. These guys were really dope writers and dope storytellers. And so that's why I enjoy it. So just got home and um, as you guys saw, I was at the studio earlier and got home very, very late. It's 2.30. It's 2.30 now. And um, the reason why I got home so late was uh, I was actually leaving the studio around 9.30, 10 o'clock, something like that. And uh, so I was walking outside with um, my baptism brother. We were walking out, we were trying to walk outside. We were on, in the elevator, we were trying to go outside. And, and there was a bunch of people in the lobby area and they just told us that someone got shot. Um, at outside of the studio and I heard it from another source that someone got shot in front of my car so they had barred taped my car and the squad car was right in front of my car so I couldn't get out 
until they were done with their investigation and they got done super late uh, they let they let us go around 1 30 something like that like 1 30 um, 2 o'clock got home 2 30 and um, that's Chicago for you Chicago is that's Chicago so right now I wanted to I wanted to talk to you guys more about this Bible this KJV thing but I think I give you guys some pretty good information I kind of don't have time to give you guys any more information but pretty much pretty much what I use what I use what I trust the most is the KJV because it comes from the real the true stream of Bible now there's nothing wrong I guess with using other versions of the Bible if you if you can't understand the KJV and you use other versions to try to understand this the sentence structure of what the KJV is trying to say then you can use it that way but always always refer to the KJV as the real version because it's the one that comes from the real Hebrew and Greek manuscripts and if you guys want more information on that I will link you guys to two videos from Walt Walter Weith the first video is going to be the it's called Battle of the Bibles it's going to tell you all about the history of the Bible where these other versions come from it's a very very deep study it's about an hour and an hour and a half I think and in the second video same guy He's going to give you a list of some of the differences between the Bibles. The list of verses that are twisted in the NIV and the ESV and the American Standard. A list of even chapters that are missing in the NIV and the ESV or whatever. And verses that are missing in the NIV and the ESV, American Standard, all the other Bibles or whatever. So I'm going to link that in the description box below. Sorry I can't explain more to you guys I wanted to but I'm super super tired I just got home again it's an unfortunate that um, someone had gotten shot in front of my car he didn't die though he, he didn't die so but they're still we're doing an investigation so pray for Chicago pray for Chicago because we definitely need prayer here in this city murder murder capital of the United States right now I think so pray for Chicago um I'm out. Go to, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to sleep. I don't think I can even go to work tomorrow because I probably wake up late. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Praise God always. And again, if you guys are blessed by this, if you guys are blessed by the. You guys know the deal, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this right now. Thank you guys. Praise God always. See you guys tomorrow.